And may the reading of this holy gospel, may our sins be forgiven. Humility as a virtue is when you acknowledge and own it for yourself, you lost it. Humility is such a virtue that when you own it and acknowledge it within yourself, you lose it. My dear friends, holiness is in solidarity with the rest of the humanity, <coughs> sinful, not in separation from them. I remember when my life in the seminary in the Philippines, we usually do our laundry by hand washing because in the seminary, we don't have washing machines. And our ordinary life and ordinary people in the Philippines don't use the washing machine. We all do our laundry by hand washing. And at night, when it's dark, I do the laundry one time, and it's dark. And I just, oh, it's already clean. But early in the morning, when I rise up and try to dry them on the clothesline, that was provided for that purpose. Oh, I saw those still have so many dirts on it because I wasn't able to see it because it was all dark. But during the day when I do the laundry and I have to, you know, raise it towards the sun and you can see even the smallest streak of dirt on your shirt and on your laundry. My dear friends, our spiritual life is also like that. The more that we have a deeper relationship with the Lord, the more we see ourselves as sinner. The move, the closer we, go, we are to the Lord, the more sensitive we are of how sinful our life would be. So my dear friends, the message of today's gospel reading, last Sunday we started, we are reminded by Jesus to pray persistently, but timely as we celebrate the year of mercy. In the gospel for this Sunday, Jesus is presenting to us two types of prayers the prayer of the Pharisees who proudly parades his righteousness before God and disdainfully distances himself from sinners, from the rest of the people in the world as sinners, and the humble prayer of the penitent tax collector who can only acknowledge his sins and beg for God's mercy. Two types of righteousness are also presented. The false righteousness of the Pharisee who prays in proud terms and the humble righteousness of Paul, as we have heard at the second reading, who remain faithful to God. So which type of prayer and righteousness do I have? Do I recognize myself as one with sinners who need God's mercy and forgiveness? Or I consider myself as holy and righteous compared to others? My dear friends, humility is like this even before the Lord. We cannot say, oh Lord, I'm already holy. Probably yes, holy in the sense that we are full of holes. 
But my dear friends, nobody except God can say that indeed that person is holy because it is just like humility that when you own it and parade it that, oh, I'm so humble, you lose it. It should be others and God who will say, oh, how humble you are. So my dear friends, even in our prayer, we cannot say that, oh Lord, I always and regularly go to the church on Sunday, and I am a daily, you know, mass goer, and I think I am much more holy than others. Oh my God, no, only God can say that. That's why we are gathered tonight and every Sunday because we wanted to be, you know, to be counted as one of the sinful humanity that needed God's mercy. One time, somebody approached me, Oh, Father, long time have I not gone to confession. And I asked her, why? Because, Father, I think I don't have any sin. Oh, is that so? So you can now take over our patron saint, Saint Margaret Mary, because if you don't have any sin, you're already a saint, right? So you can take over Saint Margaret Mary. Probably it's just like when we consider ourselves as holy compared to others, probably we are just like a laundry that was hand washed in the dark because the closer you are to the sun, the brighter you will realize how dirty is your laundry and you know when you and where you are going to hand wash particularly. So my dear friends, when we consider ourselves as holy compared to other people, let us examine ourselves. Probably we are moving to the darker side of life rather than closer to the light of the sun. Because no saint would ever acknowledge that in himself, that I am holy. The more holier the person is, the more he recognizes himself. Oh, how sinful I am. And I need God's mercy in the healing. 